Siri, what the hell do the Pats have to do to win another Super Bowl? Maybe they should stop shitting the bed at home in the playoffs. Oh, and go fuck yourself. On behalf of all Pats fankind, I am here to officially apologize to you, sports world, because my beloved Patriots did not eliminate once and for all Murderface McLewis and his butthole to more bird brains from the postseason and football in general. Baltimore played better, the Pats ate a frozen dog dixicle, and here we are once again. Looks like we hosted the wrong kind of retirement party for Ray Lewis because I think he enjoyed himself, but that does not stop me from wanting to see him and fucking Bernard Pollard drive off a cliff into a ravine full of chainsaws and broken dildos. <coughs> Why with teams pulling their hate mobiles up to the Patriot station do we continue to fuel up their vehicles with fucking bed shit horrific games like that? Yeah, hi operator. <coughs> I'd like to officially request a number change for the New England Patriots because apparently the Baltimore Ravens seem to have theirs. Yeah, okay, I'll hold. Charlotte's Web, Sophie's Choice, and The Diary of Anne Frank all had happier endings in this latest Pat's Ravens showdown, which led, of course, to the inevitable Monday morning, you know, morning spelled with a U, where nothing that you enjoy seems like you'll ever be able to enjoy it again. Oh, no. Fuck you, snacks! Fuck you, beer. Ugh, fuck you, porn. Oh, wait a second. Uh, Technically, Monday was MLK Day, but it was also FML Day. <laughs> you can take the good, you take the bad, you take them all, and here you have the facts of life. From coach to QB, O to D, they came up short when it mattered most, with some fucking sickening, yet now not so surprisingly timed, postseason brain fantastic plays. Aha, yeah, nice stop, right? Tlaib, why are you grabbing your ass? Oh, twat buckets, don't be hurt. Brady, what the fuck are you doing? Throw the ball away. Hernandez just blew all that time. What the Christ? That's a first, no, it's not. He dropped it. Wes, oh, not again. Oh my God, he knocked him out. Jesus, I hope he's okay. God, no, it's a fumble. Oh, let me guess. It was probably fucking Bernard Pollard, right? It was, it was fucking Pollard. That's it. I'm going in the street. I hope a lion eats my asshole. And there you have it. <laughs> it's like when Brady slid at the end of the first half, it was us that he was incidentally karate kicking in the dick. <laughs> Before you consider abandoning the championship, let me tell you that the 2012 Patriot season was not a failure for at least three reasons. A, do you have any idea how many teams would fucking kill to go 12 and four, win the division title, get a playoff by and have a shot at the conference championship? Two, significant strides were made in trying to both reestablish balance on the offense and bring some tenacity back to the D. And C, we're still not the Jets. It's time to toughen up, Pats. Take the fight back to the rest of the league. You know, like how Sean Connery describes it in The Untouchables. They bring a knife, you bring a gun. That needs to be the new Patriot way. Metaphorically speaking, of course. And I think they're gonna win next year's fucking Super Bowl. And if they don't, I'll still be here. And I'll make another one of these goddamn videos I hate making. Because you know why? I'm a Pats fan. And that's just what I do. Yeah! That and also spending large portions of my life drunk while illegally downloading movies and avoiding paying income taxes. I probably shouldn't have said that on camera. So cancel the pity party. Get out of bed. Get off your sofa or your toilet or your sofa toilet. Quit living at Frownton Abbey. Frownton Abbey? Oh, boo. And remember, just like your old pal Fitzy always says, regardless of the outcome or the stage upon which it takes place or whomever the opponent, when people give you shit for the team you root for or the jersey you so proudly wear, just tell them, hey, I love being a Pats fan. So go fuck yourself. <laughs>